let's say that um, you have um, some logs like I have here, these ones, and uh, somebody that doesn't have access to your gray log system would like to see some logs for a particular thing. And you don't actually really want to give him access to the gray log system, but uh, you still want to share these logs with the other person. To do that, you'd uh, simply need to search for the logs that you want like I'm doing here and um, after you have found your logs that you want to share with the other person you would simply need to go to more actions and export as CSV so what I'm gonna do I'm gonna click on download the CSV file Right now it will ask for a um, username and password. So let's give it this one. Okay, and right now it says, what do you want to do with the, the gray log search results relative zero CSV? Yeah, so I'm gonna click on save as. Okay, and right now we could uh, open the file from here. Let me do that. Okay, so when we have the file loaded, uh, it looks like this. As you can see, we have the timestamp, we have the source, we have the message. But um, if you're going to take a closer look at uh, the message right here, you will see that um, not all the fields were present in uh, in the export file yeah so we don't see the action we don't see the destination we don't see the port and so on and that is because we haven't selected all the fields yeah so what you need to do is to select all the fields in here or some fields that you'd like not necessarily all of them and then you go to more actions and export as CSV and after you're gonna download the CSV file you're gonna see all those uh, other ports um, present in the CSV file as well the second scenario in which you'll um, like to uh, export your uh, logs or send them to another destination um, it can be done with uh, plugins like for example if I will go to system and then output you're gonna see here that we have a standard output in which we don't have too many things yeah we have the gel output and uh, the gel output you can use it to send logs to another system uh, that knows how to read um, GELF format you can use it for example uh, if you have uh, in your uh, environment um, a design with gray log forwarders you can use a gray log forwarder to send uh, the logs to the central gray log server for log collection uh, you can use this output but in case you like to use uh, a different output you can go to Greylog market and here you can um, try to look for something uh, from my previous experience I know that there is a plugin already created for Splunk so for example if you would like to send data to a Splunk system you can do it without any problems you just need to install this uh, this plugin for Splunk uh, in your Greylog and uh, you can uh, select the 
or you can set the Splunk destination server, yeah, from it. You just need to install it. By the way, if you guys want to uh, make a video on, on how to install uh, plugins from the Greylock marketplace, uh, please leave the comments uh, below. And there was another one, which was MySQL Jelf, a very basic bash script to send MySQL status information to Greylock through Jelf. Okay, so this is not the case. There was somebody quite some long time ago which was uh, asking me how you can send um, uh, logs from uh, Greylock to a MySQL database. Let's try to type in for MySQL. And I think I recommended uh, that person or that guy uh, this one, this plugin to try it out. So you can download the, the plugin, put it in your plugins folder and create a new output globally or inside the stream and make sure your RDBMS commit speed is sufficient to handle output message rate. So anyway, you can uh, install plugins or use the existing uh, plugins that uh, Greylog already has to send uh, the logs to another system. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe. Hit the like button if you like the video, share it and talk to you guys in the next one.